What's good YouTube, Ben here, welcome to the next video on the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can randomize the Ocarina of Time PC port, so if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please remember to hit that like button because it's really important to the algorithm. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams, and don't forget to join me on my main Twitch, my multi-stream Twitch, and my Discord. Those three links are in the description below. Let's get into the video. Alright, so the Ocarina of Time PC port is a fantastic um, recreation of the original. It, it's basically the original, but with a lot of enhancements, like 60 frames per second. And it even comes with a bundled randomizer. Now, it doesn't work like traditional OOT rando, where you input your ROM into the website, you change your settings, then you re-download it, and blah blah blah. It doesn't work like that, because this specific PC port requires the OOT debug ROM, which cannot be randomized. So what they've started is, they've started to develop a randomizer specifically for the PC port. Now, I'll probably point out now that um, the PC port version of the randomizer is still very new, and it's very bare bones. It does not have anywhere near the amount of options as the normal one does currently. It's still being developed, so they'll add more options as they come along with it. So this is just a quick tutorial on how to do that. So first things first, you need a very specific build of the PC port, not... Uh, all commercially released versions have the randomizer bundled in so here's the website where you get the uh, The version you need So the link is here. I'll also put it in the description below uh, in the description below as well. I'm gonna put the discord link for uh, the um, Ship of Arcany and discord which is the OOT PC port discord I'd highly recommend if you have any questions going in there asking them for a bunch of nice people They'll help you out also share show them some love because this PC port is absolutely fantastic So uh, this is the one you need if you're on Windows. This is the one on Linux. This is the one on Mac So it's pretty self-explanatory. You will need an unzipping program. So uh, WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, any of them would do what you do is download it, and it'll give you a folder, kind of like this one, although I have renamed it. So once you're in there, you're going to want to quickly go ahead and build your uh, your game. So you want to use the OTR GUI. Now, I'm not going to do it myself, because I've already done it, and I don't know if it's going to mess up my current randomizer, which I'm currently live streaming on Twitch and YouTube, which I did last night. I'll be streaming it again tonight, so look in the live streams playlist, you'll see it. Or, again, turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I go live. But basically, all you do is you open this up, you manually select your Zelda debug ROM, and then click build, it builds it, and then you'll get this, the SOH.exe, this is your main game. So let's just double tap that to open it. Now, when you get yours, it won't have any of this stuff at the top. So, all you're going to want to do is you're going to press F1. That opens up all of this stuff. Now, I'm going to quickly go into something as well, um, enhancements. So frame interpolation, this is going to be your frame rate. Set it to 60 FPS. You could set it to 120, I guess, but 60 runs the smoothest. So definitely set it to 60 FPS because it is so smooth. I also turned on restoration effects. So uh, fish while hovering, you can fish whilst hover boots. And uh, turns G uh, Ganon's blood red, which just looks better. But yeah, as you'll see at the end of this row, you have randomizer. So basically, all you do is click this to enable the randomizer, generate the seed, select, well, enable the randomizer, select your settings. Like I said, it's very bare bones. You know, it's a very basic randomizer, but it's still randomizer. They are adding more options, but it's taking a while because, you know, they've got to develop specifically for this. But once you've selected all your settings and you've selected, like, other settings and detailed logic, just uh, hit generate seed. Now, I also want to point out, you can do this on the title screen, but they do recommend you go to the um, file select screen. And you'll know if it's worked when you create your file, it'll say rand at the end like that. And there you go. That's how you create randomizer on the OOT PC port. So if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please remember to hit that like button because it's really important for the algorithm. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And don't forget to join me on my main Twitch, my multi-stream Twitch, and my Discord. Those three links are in the description below and I will see you guys next time.